Well, thanks for your interest in my session. Uh, today, I introduce Kupai. Kupai uh, is a NumPy compatible library for high performance computing with CPU. The intended audience is uh, those involved in scientific computing as researchers, data scientists, software engineers, and especially ones already use NumPy in, your, uh, in their works. And today's goal is please try Kupai today. Then we hope uh, Kupai will be applicable to your works. And please know that uh, today's uh, talk is a very introductory one, so I don't talk about Kupai's design and its technical details, so if some of you have interest in such technical topic, uh, please let me know and I may have uh, such technical talk on another chance. Okay. Then first, uh, please let me introduce our organization uh, briefly. Our organization, uh, Preferred Networks, is a NEGA startup in Japan. And it was founded at March 2014 and uh, now has one, more than 120 engineers and researchers. It has more than $100 million investment from Toyota Motors for autonomous driving and it got second place in the Google AI Open Images uh, object detection track in the last year. Additionally, uh, with the new MN2 uh, private supercomputer, uh, it will provide totally around 200 petaflops computing resources. And our business domains are deep learning research and its industrial applications as manufacturing, automotive, and healthcare. Okay, then uh, back to Kupai. Kupai is an open source library which has NumPy compatible API and brings high performance in a dimensional array computation with uh, utilizing NVIDIA's GPUs. Kupai's key benefits are a drop point replacement with NumPy, high performance and dimensional array computation, and open source and actively developed and maintained. And please let me uh, explain these points one by one. The first point, uh, drop-in replacement with NumPy. Kupai is designed to be highly compatible with NumPy, enabling drop-in replacement on your code. This is the short snippet uh, written with NumPy. First importing NumPy, then creating two and dimensional arrays, then computing dot production of them. Then how does it look like with Kupai? Here it is uh, completely the same except the uh, module used. First uh, uh, importing Kupai instead of NumPy, then creating uh, to uh, and the and dimensional arrays, coupies to and um, coupies and dimensional arrays, then computing dot production. Since uh, modules are the first class objects in Python, so you can share the same code between NumPy and coupie. Uh, here's another uh, short snippet working with NumPy and Kupai as the one code. Conventionally, uh, we use a variable named XP, XP uh, to assign NumPy and Kupai modules, then uh, use the XP module. Then please see the more uh, practical use cases on Kupai's sample calls on GitHub. Then why uh, we developed Kupai? Uh, Kupai was originally a part of China. China is our 
a neural network framework and to make it provide both CPU and GPU supports with less than effort. The left side is uh, original pull requests, uh, are the pull, uh, pull requests of the uh, first appearance of KuPy on China's uh, repository. And the uh, uh, right side is the original author of KuPy, uh, Okuta-san. He, uh, he currently serves as the CTO for Prefer Networks. Then KuPy widely covers the features of NumPy, which would be enough in the most cases, we suppose. KuPy has uh, these fundam uh, essential fundamental data types, uh, or basic indexing, and most of the advanced indexing, like NumPy. And uh, KuPy uh, supports most of the array correlation routine that's empty, ones like uh, diagonal, and most of the array manipulation routines as reshape, row axis, concatenate, and so on. And KuPy also implements all operators with uh, NumPy style broadcasting. And uh, most of the universal functions for the element-wise operations are the square root, exponential, log, and uh, linear algebra-like functions as dot and uh, matrix multiplication, uh, Kolesky decomposition, uh, singular value decomposition, etc. Additionally, KuPy also supports uh, reduction operation along axis uh, like uh, sum, uh, max, mean, ag max, ag mean, and sorting operations and uh, sparse matrix operations. Additionally, Cooper supports some of the SciPy, SciPy levels uh, features as uh, Fourier transformation for each dimension. Uh, linear gel like functions like uh, to solve uh, triangular and LU uh, factorized matrices, uh, some of n dimensional image processing, and SciPy level sparse matrix, of, matrix operations, and uh, some of uh, mathematical special functions like polygamma or digamma, like this. Of course, uh, there are uh, remaining features unimplemented, so your contributions to uh, implement more features to KuPy is uh, highly welcome. <coughs> then next, uh, the second point of KuPy's benefits, high performance in n-dimensional array computation. Uh, KuPy brings high performance and dimensional array computation for large data size with utilizing an NVIDIA GPU. Here is a simple benchmark of matrix addition, creating two matrices and adding them. Then the right side is the chart of measured result. Then the horizontal axis is the size of the matrices, and the vertical uh, axis is the processing time, so uh, lesser is better, lesser is better. Then please see the yellow, yellow line for uh, NumPy. Then uh, this blue, blue line for KuPy. With a more uh, than, uh, size of more than several students, KuPy uh, is more than 10 times faster than NumPy in this case. This is another benchmark of dot production, similarly creating uh, two uh, square matrices and computing dot production of the uh, matrices. 
The right side is the samely uh, measured chart, and with the size of uh, more than hundreds, Kupa is uh, more than 10 times faster than NumPy. Uh, samely, a uh, less size better. Then very roughly saying, uh, Kupa is faster than uh, NumPy with the size of data more than that of the CPU's L1 cache, around 100 kilobytes. And to make for use of the GPU architecture, Kupa uses CUDA related libraries provided by NVIDIA, KuBlas and KuServer for linear algebra, KuSparse for sparse matrix operation, KuRand for random number generation, Slust for uh, sorting operations, and Nico and CCL Nico for uh, multi-GPU data transfer. You can access, uh, you can get easy access to such libraries from Python with Kupai. Then the start point of Kupai's benefits, open source. Uh, Kupai is an open source software and you can access its entire source code on GitHub and Kupai uh, currently has more than 3,200 GitHub stores and more than 160 contributors. And Kupai is provided an uh, MIT license, so it is also legally easy to use. And Kupai is not a black box, so you can send feature requests as well as pull requests to NAS on GitHub. Uh, then several projects, uh, including Chainer, uh, use Kupai. Uh, Chainer is uh, our uh, deep learning framework. Then, uh, of course, that it, it, use, it uses Kupai. Other than that, uh, uh, pom uh, pomegranate is for probabilistic and graphical modeling, and Spacey is for natural language processing. And I, I also heard that uh, a project uh, uses is Kupai for Fourier transformation on GPU, and another uses Kupai uh, for malware, malware detection with uh, binary comparison on GPU, and the other uses Kupai for out of core data frame uh, processing on GPU. And we'll be happy if you let us know uh, your project using Kupai. The uh, fourth point, the last point of Kupai's benefits, actively developed and maintained. Kupai is so actively developed and maintained that it has more than uh, 13,000 commits and monthly regular releases. The latest stable series, version 6 series, was released in this May, and the current latest version, uh, 6.1.0, was released at 21st of the June, last month. The following shows some of the new features included uh, to Kupai in version 6 compared to version 5. Many features, and the, uh, this is some, uh, some of the new features listed. And other than this, uh, lots of enhancements are added to the existing features. I talked about uh, what uh, Kuba is. Uh, then next, how to get started with Kuba. If uh, you have an access to an NVIDIA GPU installed computer, you can install a private binary or a wheel just by pip, point, pip command. 
First, please install CUDA toolkit uh, downloaded from the NVIDIA's official website. <coughs> then type uh, this command, pip install kupy cuda 101 on your terminal emulator. This 101 stands for CUDA toolkit 10.1, 10 10.1, 10 so 101, the latest CUDA toolkit. And uh, of course, you can install CUPY from its source code uh, when the private binaries do not meet your requirement. And please see the official installation guide for its details. Even if uh, you have no access to NVIDIA GPU installed computer, you can still try Kupai on Google Collaboratory. The left is the screenshot of the Google Collaboratory on which uh, Kupai is running. Just uh, importing Kupai as usual. A bit small, but uh, as usual, Python script import Kupai as CP here. The one thing, uh, please uh, configure uh, Google Collaboratory to enable GPU from its runtime, runtime menu. Uh, select the change runtime type and choose GPU for hardware accelerator. This is only uh, one configuration. Then we provide the official tutorial and a sample course for uh, CP, uh, Kupai. The left is the screenshot of the Kupai's uh, tutorial page, and the right, I list uh, Kupai's sample course containing conjugate gradient method, financial pricing, Gaussian mixture model, and k means clustering, etc. Then tutorials, uh, contributions for tutorials and sample calls are also welcome. And here, uh, I shortly uh, shows the Kupai's K-means uh, clustering example. Uh, K-means clustering uh, is, you know, uh, an algorithm to partition and observations into K clusters in which each each observation belongs to the cluster with the uh, nearest means, its nearest means. And the uh, right is the uh, k-min fit function uh, that runs with both numpy and kupy. Just 19 uh, lines of code except comments and blank lines. And it runs uh, several times faster with Kupai than NumPy uh, under some condition I measured. Uh, N of uh, 5 million and K of 2. And uh, this is a result of I measure nearly 10 times faster. Then you can see this code on uh, Kupai's GitHub repository, so please check later. And lastly, I uh, briefly shows uh, Kupai's advanced features. Kupai provides fashion features beyond NumPy for performance. Kupai has element-wise kernel and uh, reduction kernel facilities that make you define your custom element-wise operation kernel and uh, reduction operation kernel for your demand. In other words, a map and reduce algorithm. Additionally, uh, Kupai uh, provides low kernel facility that make you easily use uh, low, low uh, CUDA C kernel function from Python. If you already have your own CUDA C kernel code, this low kernel uh, facility it would be the nice choice. 
other than this, uh, Coupai Fuse, Coupai Fusing is the feature to combine multiple kernel invocations into one call to reduce the kernel invocation overheads. And Coupai uh, has its own memory pool facility to manage and reuse GPU memory. It is triggered by Python's uh, reference counting system. So with this memory pool, you don't need to manage GPU memory for yourself anymore. And Coupa is an open source software, so your contribution will be highly appreciated. And additionally, we'd like to know what do you use Coupai for? How do you use Coupai? And what, which features of Coupai do you want? What part of Coupai uh, do you want us to improve? And you can contact us at Slack, uh, General Coupai Slack channel and GitHub issues. Finally, uh, thanks for your interest in Coupai. Then please try Coupai today. Then please bring back this command, uh, pip install coupai-cuda101. Then here I list Coupai's, some of Coupai's resources, uh, official website, GitHub, sample calls, forum, and Slack channel. That's all for me this session. Thanks so much. Thanks for the talk. Thanks for coming out. Uh, quick question. If I'm a Conda user, is there a Conda Forge package? Uh, uh, a Conda Forge package for the for Coupai? Conda Forge. There's a Conda package for Coupai? Okay. Just so I don't install multiple versions of the Syrian runtime. <laughs> Uh, thank, thanks for the talk. It, in your your comparison of the uh, of the k-means between the CPU and G, uh, between the CUDA and NumPy and 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 CuPy, uh, did that include did you include the compile time for the uh, for the uh, CuPy? There's a compile time involved. There's a, right. It's a, a, a uh, uh, so, sorry, again? Yeah, there's a, there's, the, the Coupai is built on, on, on Numba, is that, is that right? No, it's uh, not? No, no. Uh, and there's no compile time uh, uh, no, to compile no, no for compiler, the GPU? No, no compiler. No? Okay. So, um, SciPy often gets um, comments that it's too large and it should be broken up. Now you have NumPy and parts of SciPy kind of equivalent in a single package, so it might be even bigger. Do you have plans to, to do other SciPy-like things as separate packages uh, or do them at all? Uh, currently, uh, SciPy compatible feature is uh, under uh, CuPy and now uh, it's relatively small currently, so uh, under group by then. Uh, now, not uh, we don't have a concrete plan to separate uh, separate the sci-fi compatible feature from group by, but I'm not sure the feature uh, a future. Yeah, currently uh, such situation. Yeah. Uh, other questions? Hi, great talk. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very excited about Coupai. Um, I have a cultural question. So I didn't know about Coupai until last year. I think there's, I'm now becoming more aware of excellent work coming out of Japan. Yeah, yeah. Thank How can this community uh, better welcome the Japanese developers? How can we become not two communities, but one community together? 
uh, uh, sorry, uh, to, to community. Right now, Japanese developers and yeah. North American European developers yeah. don't talk so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. How can we fix this? Uh, community. Uh, it's a hard problem. One, <laughs> <laughs> one, one, at, at least one thing, we uh, provide uh, mainly English doc uh, documentation and uh, tutorials or documentation or something because uh, mainly uh, English. So I think that's one thing. And uh, is there a Saipai Japan? Saipai Japan? Yeah, 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 Saipai Japan. I, I joked. <laughs> so, yes, the first Saipai Japan was this yeah. year. So that's one, one potential way. Can you uh, write number.cuda kernels and use them on Kupai arrays? Uh, num, uh, num, number.cuda. Number. Yes. Number. Yes. <laughs> we have a tutorial on that. So how how like hardcore GPU do you need to make this useful? I mean, is the one in my laptop going to be at all helpful? Uh, so, uh, again, okay. how how big a GPU do you need to actually make this useful? Um, so you know, a, a typical Mac laptop these days has a, has a pretty good GPU, but it's you know it's not a hundred thousand dollar machine. <laughs> GPU yeah, this, is the, hmm? this has been answered before. The hmm? recommendation from NVIDIA is, is it won't work on your laptop for any use. Uh, medium GE Force will get you the mid level. If you need double precision, you need to go up to the $2,000 version. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> Uh, so sorry, my, my, my son. My son. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for the talk. This might... <laughs> I've been upstaged. <laughs> uh, this might steer us into the technical details a little bit, which I know you didn't, you said you didn't want to discuss, but can you maybe comment on how hard it is to use the advanced features and whether, like, optimization is a giant pain? The context is, I've done a little bit of CUDA programming in, every, and in C, and what I've done is invariably uh, you know, memory transfers and like getting getting actual peak performance is very hard. You need to tune it for your specific problem. It looks like the advanced features maybe give you some room to do that, but how hard is it? Uh, uh, you you mean uh, perform, uh, actual performance? Uh, for for example, uh, uh, data transfer between CPU and GPU. Uh, 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 actually. Uh, hmm? Actually, uh, to completely uh, writing uh, uh, by code with uh, uh, high performance, uh, the implementer needs to the architecture, uh, NVIDIA uh, GPU architecture, like uh, memory transfer, especially the GPU computation, the bottleneck is the data transfer between CPU and GPU. That is very, uh, mo most cases that the mo uh, bottleneck. So uh, actually, the programmer needs such characteristic of GPU computation. And then uh, without such knowledge, uh, the programmer cannot uh, use Kupai's uh, performance uh, and, uh, well. well uh, uh, can I answer your question? Can, uh, <laughs> sorry. All right, I think we might be uh, out of time. So let's thank uh, the speaker once more. Yeah, thank you very much.